uh, welcome to KVG. Uh, and yes, we're on our way to uh, 1,000 subscribers, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please do so. We humbly request you to do so. And those who uh, have subscribed, thanks, thanks, guys. Uh, let's continue watching. Let's continue uh, commenting. And yeah, so this is just about in Pumalanga, guys. Things to do in Pumalanga, I think. So I think I should get the map, you know. But yes, there is a map uh, we usually got. So basically, it's a four hours drive, you know, from Pretoria, my home base now, it's Pretoria. So I got there, I ah, left around past two, and by five, I was at my destination where I'll be sleeping. So that is uh, this place, uh, it's um, White River, I mean, White River Premier Hotel. So it took around for for three to four hours to get here, and yeah, it was it was a nice experience along the way, and you know, it's just that they're fixing somewhere in the end for, but besides that, it was nice. So the first day I got here, and um, there wasn't really nothing much because I got in late, then went back to McDonald's get some food. But in terms of the things to do in Pumalanga, I would advise that you just have a base, you know, to, to where you just just gonna sleep doesn't matter if you like luxury white sheets or you just want to get an Airbnb. I don't know your preference. But I would say that, okay, I don't know. I, I, I prefer hotels than Airbnb. You know, I can get food anytime, you know, it's from service and, and, and all the stuff. But uh, make sure that the following day, because what I did was that got here around uh, five, then got food, you know, checked in, then went out for the food. And from there, the following day, I told my 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 partner, my girlfriend, um, she's the cameraman there. <laughs> no, don't you wanna come? Don't you wanna come this side? Um, uh, just say hello. Just say hello. Uh, just say hello. Yes. So I don't know if you're visible, but oh, come this side. I don't know if you're because there's no one that side, ne? Mm -hmm. Who's seeing us? But so um, yeah, I, I made her wake up. Um, I'm not sure if we're visible, but uh, she just spent five seconds here. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So I met her wake up early, early in the morning, um, 5, 5 a.m. Then by 7, 6, we're leaving here. So you want to say something before you leave? Nothing. Nothing. Just subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. Okay, she doesn't want to say something. Okay, baby, go leave. I keep what going. should I say? I don't know. I don't know what to think. No, okay, yeah, where, where, where did we go? Our first, how many, how many stops did we have? Five yesterday, right. so I was like, really tired. Okay, we had five stops. Okay, I think I'll take you through the steps. Right. Are you yeah. still going to sit here? No, I'm gone. Yeah, but okay. okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, yeah, she just had to make sure that the camera is good, you know. We don't know how it went like. Maybe it was above, you know, the head and all that. We don't know, but we'll see later. So, uh, we had five stops, so woke up early in the morning to make sure that we enjoy. So the first stop that we had, I'm in White River, eh? it's deep, deep, deep down. So the first thing that I would advise is that you take the panorama, panorama route, you know. Once in the panorama route, that's what we took, you get to enjoy because it's everything is on that way, on that freeway, on that route, you know. So we first went to Savi, Savi Falls. Um, it was a nice experience. Of course, like the pictures, you're going to see them. Here the pictures of Savi Falls. Then it was a nice experience, you know, Savi Falls, like under the bridge, you know, it's a small, you know, fall, artificial, but real falls. Then from there we went to Kraskop, ne, baby? Mm. Went to, what? Before? Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. oh, we went to Mac Mac Falls, right? Okay, we've been to Mac Mac Falls. I think we went 2019 to Mac Mac Falls. Yeah. Then, uh, because it was on the way now, we went again. So, Savi and Trent is 20 rands per person. And then we went to Mac Mac Falls. Then Mac Mac Falls again, you know, like, um, the good thing about Savi is that we went early in the morning and they didn't have change, so we didn't pay. Okay, yeah, but it's 20 rands. So I went to make Mac Falls, it's on the way, you know, went to make Mac Falls. It was a nice experience again, we went there for the second time. You know, entrance per person is 15 rands. Those things are not more than, like, not 30 minutes away from each other. Then from uh, uh, Mac Mac Falls, we went to Kraskop, you know. And, oh yes, the pictures, you're going to see them, uh, of course. They're going to, going to pop. So from there, we went to uh, Kraskop Gorge Lift Company. And again, there, uh, what we did, the entrance is 30 rands, then the other activities, 
you are going to just pray pay for them like the activities like the lift you know the big swing you know the zip line you know you're going to like you can just check them online like 400 205 depending which one is which then we also did um uh just move around you know uh, there's a what do you call this uh I don't know what, what you call it, so it's not a bridge, it's a, a, I don't know in English. I don't know, but you see the pictures, yeah. <laughs> so it was it was a nice experience there by the Gorge Lift Company. And then from there, where did we go after that? Um, we went to Grand I know, before Grand okay, we went to uh, Luke's Portal, you know? our Lack, oh, our Lack Portal, yeah, yeah. Portal. We went to Lack Portal along the road again you know because we didn't go to god's window the reason that we didn't go to god's window is that we've been there but before the the portals there's god's window you know so we didn't want to go there because get, you know yeah, get to get to god's window we have to climb we have to go to the mountain so hey, we were tired by then we we're really tired so we passed god's window then we went straight to to alex portal and then again hey, those guys are expensive right? i think 65 francs per person yeah i don't know for what but yeah <laughs> No, put through, no, those things are uh, not really fascinating. Okay, you should go. You know, I think the thing about tourism is just like, you know, like, I don't know. Uh, okay, the, the water was eroding on the rock, then the rock was this type of a rock, then it made the potholes B shaped this way. Ah, that was that. And then from there, we, we went to, oh, there's also a museum there. So from there, we went to uh, Randavos, Tre And from Tre Randavos, I think it's, because we've even been there. So the last time when we went, we only went to Savi, uh, we only went to Mac Falls and also God's Window. So we time tower us so we didn't go. So this time around, we had to continue that route. We went to a three round of us, it was a nice experience, you know, like, like three round of us. I don't know guys, but it was a nice thing. And the entrance there is what, 35 francs per person. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was nice at the round of us, the view, like it was, I spent some time just sitting there, you know, just looking at the view, you know. And then after that, we are hungry, you know. Indeed, we, do have, we did have snacks, snacks in the car, you know, snacks, drinks, cake, all, all this stuff, I think. But now we really wanted a real meal. I think it was around two, I don't know, two, around one, two, somewhere there. Then we went to um, Gadisi restaurant. It's in uh, Forever Resort Blake. Yeah, Forever Resort. It's just like, Two kilometers away from uh, the Rwanda. Mm -hmm. So if you are there, just go to Kadisi Resort. I mean, a Forever Resort. You're going to get uh, that restaurant there, and then from there, it was a nice experience there. I mean, the food. There's also a buffet there. You can just order, and from there, okay, we wanted to take the route to go to the Sugwala Caves and Keiko Caves, but hey, we're tired, so we decided to go back. And it took us one hour fifty seven minutes to get back to our uh, our hotel, and we got here at five. And you know what? Of course, the rest is history. You don't want to know what happened. So yeah, uh, that was things that you can do in when you're coming here. Oh, we're supposed to go to Kruger National Park, but you know, like we got tired, and the guys were not answering because we wanted to book a game drive, like those guys to just drive us with those ranger cars and all those things but uh, we didn't get hold of them and it's 34 kilometers the gate the Numbi gate is for, I think it's 30 k's from here but we got tired so yeah but those are the things that we can do here in Malanga I think five to seven things that you can do in Malanga especially if you come to Red River you're not far from the Kruger National Park and when you take the panorama route you get all those five to seven the last two we didn't go to but you can be able to take the route to, to that. So from me to you, I say, cheers, come to Malala. It's a nice one.